In this video, we're going to see how to get started with Brizzy Cloud's pop-ups. Now, pop-ups are incredibly useful on any website. You can use them for a simple click a button, open up a little pop-up window, and get someone to subscribe to your mailing list. Alternatively, you could have someone just about to complete a purchase, decide to go to leave your website, and before the browser is actually exited, a little pop-up reminds them they've got something in the shopping cart and asks them to check out. Whatever method you want to use, they are very, very useful. Now, Brizzy gives us two different types of pop-ups we can work with. In this video, we're going to take a look at a really simple example where you click a button, a pop-up opens, and you can do something. In the next video, we'll look at more advanced options where you have things like exit intent when someone tries to leave a browser. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is use this button to open up our pop-up. To do that, we simply select the button, we choose the link icon, and inside there, we're going to choose the pop-up tab. You can see this has one simple option. The ability to add in a pop-up. We'll click the plus and this then shows us a range of pre-built, pre-designed pop-ups we can use. Obviously we can still start from scratch if we want to or we can use one of these as a quick starting point. Now if you want to filter things down on the left hand side we've got a range of different categories. So for example we may want to use a sign up. We can select that and see all the sign up options. We might want subscribe, sales, notifications. You get the idea. For this example though, we want to use the sign up option. So let's select that. Let's take one of these as an example. Let's use this sign up form. And now we've inserted a pop-up. Now to start making changes to any pop-up, you simply come back over the pop-up option, click, and that'll take you into the editor. So now we're editing the pop-up itself. So we can go ahead and customize any aspect of this, or we can simply remove everything and start with a blank slate. For these though, let's just make a couple of little tweaks to this. Let's swap this background image out on the left hand side for something a little different. We'll choose the image option, we'll remove the existing image and we'll choose to upload one from our computer. I'll choose an image that I like the look of. And once that's uploaded, if we want to, we can use this little focal point button to move this around to get exactly what we want inside our image. Okay, pretty cool. Next thing I want to do is just tweak this button a little bit. So we're going to select the button, we're going to come over to the color options and inside there we're going to adjust the text color. We'll set that to be white so it stands out a little bit better. And we'll go to the hover state and we'll make some adjustments there. So we'll say we want this to go red or white for the text. We'll set the background to red. And if we take a hover over that, you can see we've now got a nice hover effect on our button. So the final thing we need to do is connect this up to the service we want to use for this particular sign up. We're going to click this option at the end. And inside there, we can now choose whatever applications we want to connect it to, or we could just use an email. You can see we can choose an email notification or we can hop over to the app section and pick any of the applications we can link up to. Common ones like MailChimp, MailerLite and so on. For this demo, I'm not going to connect anything up so I'll just close this down. But all you need to do is choose the option that's relevant to you. Once we finish with that, all we need to do is update. We can head back out of this and then we can go ahead and test things out. So let's preview this. Let's go ahead and click our subscribe now button. And there's our pop-up ready for us to fill our details in and subscribe to the mailing list. That's how easy it is to get started using the pop-up builder inside Brizzy.